What's up, everybody? Main boat guy back again. Um, today, oh, it's a Mercury 2007, 115 horsepower four stroke. Um, I've already pulled the, um, this is what they're calling it, a fuel supply module on these ones. Um, basically, it's a vapor separator tank. Um, these ones I don't like. A lot of issues with them just because of their design. Um, it's a good idea, but just too much going on. Uh, basically, it's at the front side of your engine. I was hanging off the front of a pontoon or the back of a pontoon boat pulling this off. That's why I didn't have the camera going then. It was probably should have videoed before and at least gotten a picture of it. Maybe I'll get a picture after and stick it on there. Um, but basically, it's just your um, your cooling water lines, um, your fuel lines, vent line, and then the the power harness for the uh, high pressure pump and low pressure pump, or low pressure pump is I think on this side, and the high pressure pump, and then for the float switch, which we'll get into in just a second. Um, and they're simple; just push the tab on the. If you can't get the fuel lines off the FSM, you probably shouldn't be taking it apart. It's just a simple push the tab and pull the pull the line off. Um, I haven't drained this yet, so I'm going to be careful um, pulling it apart just because I want to see what's inside of it. Uh, these are, no, I don't know. I'm going to seven millimeter. Seven millimeter. All right, there's another place the uh, impact, electric impact would have come in nice. So these being plastic, I'm gonna do as little prying as possible. But if you've got fuel in it like me, careful is best so it looks like we're gonna do a little screwdriver action very carefully That's it. Small screen under there to catch. I don't know, looks like only big stuff's gonna get caught in there, so. Guess you don't necessarily have to worry about that. I'm gonna find a, hopefully find a clear container, dump some of this all clean out. fuel out of that. See it. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> and down in the bottom is the cooling coil and then there's a seal. Which this seal is not in bad shape at all. Typically these will be swollen, cracked, drive cracked, something like that. Um, same with this seal here. 
which that one, yeah, that one's, that one's pretty well swelled up. Um, and then the seal up top, the gasket up top, and basically, you want to look it up for your, for your application. <clears throat> but it's basically just going to be a kit with all, the all new bolts, and then all the seals. Place that bottom seal. And this is that seal up on there. And then actually the seal for the top of the pump. Seal for the top of the tank. Yeah, so, uh, I'm going to change these seals and uh, I'll clean it up real quick. Doesn't seem like it needs much. Um, I will probably change this float switch. This float switch is right here, this giant electronic switch, not like a typical um, float valve. Um, and Mercury had a lot of issues with them, so we're going to replace that. <clears throat> Basically, that's just this, this wire here, one push tab on this side. our float switch <clears throat> a little testy on the float switch This is actually a pretty good switch. Typically they'll get hung up inside or